I'm Don Goldberg for TechView, and today our guest is Mary Lucas from GCE, who's got some interesting um, uh, developments with a new contract that you guys have implemented with the Department of Labor to really change their entire financial management system. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we have had an exciting uh, last year and a half with the Department of Labor. Uh, they decided to move off of a financial management system that they've had for 25 years onto the GCE solution. And as you can imagine, that's quite a big change for any organization um, with that many employees to, to really decide to move to something new and then to roll out that, that change across an organization that's spread out across the country. So it's not just building the technology. It's really about dealing with thousands of employees who have to change what they've been doing, like you said, for in some cases for 25 years. How do you even approach that challenge? Yeah, that's exactly true. It's really less about about the system and more about the tools and getting people to like the tools. So so what we do is we really try and roll it out. We talk about in bite-sized chunks. So we start at the very beginning um, since they've already know the solution that they've picked. So we start introducing people to, to the business processes, the, what tools they would use, um, give them early chances to get their hands on it. We find that people People can adapt to change if you do it a little bit at a time and allow them to really understand how it impacts them and get their hands on the tools to see how their world will be when the change does come. Um, that way, when the change does come, we talk about having a soft landing, have people very comfortable with what's going to come down the road, and that sort of eases the whole transition for the entire agency. Now, you're really a change management you know, guru in some ways, and if people aren't comfortable with what the new system is, you know, it's not going to work as well as you know, it could be a failure. So what, uh, you know, when you, when you talk to people who've been doing the same thing for a long time, I mean, what kind of messages do you give them? Right. That's very true. One, one of the things that we really try and do is roll out, um, to all the different people in the organization. You know, all these federal departments have lots of agencies that are spread out geographically. Um, so we go out um, across the country, um, all across the national offices, and, uh, and get a whole team, the whole change management practice involved with those people um, and make sure that they are individually comfortable, whether or not that's different um, sessions that we have, a lot of hands-on training, a lot of opportunity for interaction. Um, we find that that interaction um, breeds comfort and familiarity, and again, that's how people feel comfortable when the new system rolls out. Now you're asking them to use a system that's really a cloud computing system, perhaps one of the big first big government-wide enterprises. Um, do you get resistance because it's not in shop, it's not in house, maybe there's security issues? What are the types of questions you get? Yeah, the interesting thing is when you look at these big implementations that you get a lot of users, um, uh, thousands and thousands of users that, that honest to goodness really just care about is it there for me, will it work? Um, if I call the help desk, will my questions get answered? They care less about what you may brought to the table and, and basically what are you going to do for them today? So, so most people are very excited that this is a, a solution that comes with a lot a lot of support around it, a lot of training around it, and um, and somebody who's going to worry about the technical side that is actually outside the department. So so those things breed a lot of comfort for people um, in the transition to the new system. Now you guys also worked with TSA when it was first established, and there's a brand new department really being built from scratch. Plus, it initially was with Department of uh, Transportation, then it was moved to DHS. Those are a whole different set of challenges. Right, right. So there you have um, a lot of people very, very, not just geographically dispersed, but, you know, in every airport across the country. So you had a lot of people that you had to reach with the new system. Um, and one of the keys there was was not to just to, um, to be there for the training, but to roll out a tool that was very easy for people to use. Um, and that's what we were successful at TSA. It was not just the, the breadth of the rollout, but the tools that we rolled out there were, were tools that people found to be very close to their business process and, and able to easily absorb quickly.